Once again, we have gathered here on May 19th, as we do each year on this specific date, to honor the memory of our ancestors. As Hellenes and as Pontians, we have an honor-bound duty to bear witness to the tragedy of their suffering and ultimately their death. They paid the ultimate price for none other than the crime of being Christians. We mourn for their suffering and their death, but we fo shall forever celebrate their life because while they lived, they were diligent in the preservation of their language, music, dance, and culture, assuring that their death would not erase their heritage. It is these valuable treasures that we have inherited from them and we must pass on to further generations with as much passion and zeal as has been instilled in us by our parents and grandparents. For it is to these young Hellenes of Pondos that we must entrust the preservation and the perpetuation of our beautiful culture. We will begin the proceedings with the raising of the Greek and Pontian flags, followed by the singing of the Greek of the U.S. and Greek na national anthems. First up on the dais, we would like to invite Senator Lou Raptakis from Rhode Island. Just want everybody to know that Senator Raptakis is responsible for the first resolution in the United States by a state recognizing the Pondian genocide. Thank you, uh, thank you, Gus, Council General, Presidents of the uh, Federations. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to be here again, once again, today, on the anniversary, 93 years ago, that we still have not heard an apology from the Turkish government. And with my colleagues in government, not just in Rhode Island, but across this country, we've had about 14 states that have recognized the Pontian genocide, the truth, what happened, 
those years where 350,000 perished. And we're going to continue to fight, not only in the 14 states, but to get every single state to recognize the Pontian genocide. And for one day, the U.S. Congress to pass a resolution to do the same. I just want to congratulate everyone that's here, especially the parents and the grandparents for having the youngsters on a Saturday, instead of playing ball or shopping, they're here today to be part of history, and I want to thank them. And again, ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I just want to thank the support from the community for, for continuing our work in Rhode Island. It, it doesn't affect just Rhode Island, but it affects this whole country. And for one day, we see that a national resolution passes. Again, thank you very much. I would like to call Mr. Va Vasilios Teodosakis, Chairman of the Asia Minor Holocaust Memorial Observance Committee. Distinguished guest, the Honorable Council General of Greece, Mr. Leopoldos, the President of the Pan Pontian Association of America, Mr. Bosilis. Uh, uh, Pan Federation President, Mr. Elias Terizakis. I'm sorry, I'm sorry on that. I, I know a long time, but I keep passing up. It's our honor. We should be here. There's no reason why there should not be more people. And I, I look at some of my other nationalities, like the Armenians and the Jewish people. They're out all the time fighting. They're out there pit, pitching a hole to their congressmen. They're out there talking to this, putting it into the school system. We don't have nothing compared to what these other people have done. And look at us. We should, I'm not going to say we should be doing more. And I know there's only a handful, but we still have to keep on going. I've been doing this over 25 years. I kind of grow a little old, but I'm still fighting. And if it wasn't for people to keep fighting, we'll lose. So, there again, it took 25 years. I thought this was going to disappear. It has not disappeared. It will be another 100 years because we have a few dedicated people still continuing the job, which is long undone. I thank you all, and God bless America and Greece. We hope and pray that their future will be much better. Thank you. Next, I would like to call Mr. Elias Tsekeridis, President of the Federation of Hellenic Societies of Greater New York. Κύριε Καθηγητά, και σε χαρήκαμε αυτέ τι μέρε, κύριε Πρόεδρε τη Ομοσπονδία, Πρόεδροι των Σωματείων και του Ιερού Εδρήματο, κυρίε και κύριοι, σήμερα είναι η μέρα που θυμόμαστε τα θύματα αυτά τη Ποντιακή Γενοκτονία και όπω όλοι λέμε και το τονίζουμε, δεν θα ξεχάσουμε ποτέ. Ποτέ κοιτά να σπάλουμε. Ατάντο μπήκανε μας οι Τουρκάν, εμάς το 1922 και πριν το 1922. Οπωσδήποτε θα έχουμε αρκετούς ομιλητές, δεν χρειάζεται να πούμε πολλά πράγματα, αλλά χαίρομαι που έχουμε την νεολαία και από ό,τι άκουσα και βλέπω οι περισσότεροι είναι από τον Όρβουακ, από τον παλιό μου σύλλογο και είναι πραγματικά έργο αυτών των ανθρώπων που είναι στο σύλλογο αυτό του Πόντος και με συνεργασία πάντοτε με τους κομμινούς 
που είναι πάντοτε μαζί και στην παρέλαση που τους είδαμε να δείξουν την ποντιακή λεβεντιά εκεί στο κανάλι 9 και θα πω, δεν ξέρω αν θα το πει κανένας, το βράδυ έχουμε μία εκδήλωση στην Παναγία Σουμελά και οπωσδήποτε η Παναγία Σουμελά μας χρειάζεται όλους και για την παρουσία μας και για την οικονομική βοήθεια προς το Ίδρυμα. Ευχαριστώ πολύ, αιωνία του Συμνήμη. Our next speaker will be Mr. Dimitris Molochidis, President of the Pampontian Federation of the United States and Canada. Consul General, honorary guests, dear friends, we gather here today for the fifth year in a row to raise the Greek and the Podian flags in memory of all those Podian Greeks, over 353,000 who perished in the hands of the Ottoman Turks. Modern Kemalist Turkey has been created over the dead bodies of hundreds of thousands of Christians, Armenians, Greeks, and Assyrians. We were ethnically cleansed to pave the way for the new state of Turkey. It is an established fact that modern Turkey evolved out of the ashes of one of the most horrific genocides recorded at the beginning of the 20th century. 93 years on and Turkey is still escaping punishment for those unprecedented crimes of the past century. Refuses to acknowledge those crimes, refuses to apologize, the least expected of her compromise with history and comes to terms with it. Great responsibility for Turkey's refusal therefore lies on the shoulders of the so-called civilized society and protectors of human rights worldwide who shows the truth for decades. If Turkey had been convicted a long time ago for all the injustices and crimes she committed, she would not have been at ease to carry on with her same crimes and massacre, half of Cyprus in 1974. Today is a particular emotional day for us because not only remember those who were victimized then, but also the fact that people are still being victimized today by the ongoing denial of this crime by the perpetrator and its allies. It has been said that all the aspects of genocide, denial is the last stage. Today, we are commemorating something that is not just part of history and not just affecting one group, but it's ongoing and monumental in its enormity. In the 20th century, genocides caused the death of over 60 million people around the world. In 2009, the South Australia government and in 2010, the Swedish parliament recognized this genocide. We believe it sends a strong and clear message that genocides must be condemned whenever and wherever it occurs and that attempts at historical revisionism will not be tolerated in the family of free nations. We have an obligation to remember. We have a duty to carry on the fight for justice, for recognition for a genocide by the Turks. We owe it to those who suffered and do not have a voice of their own to carry on the fight. In memory of them all. Thank you. The Honorable Mr. George Iliopoulos, representing the Republic of Greece as Council General here in New York. Ladies and gentlemen, κυρίες και κύριοι, επίσημοι προσκεκλημένοι, βρισκόμαστε εδώ τώρα, χιλιάδες χιλιόμετρα μακριά από την Ελλάδα και τη γη των πατέρων σας, στην καρδιά της Νέας Υόρκης, σε μια εκδήλωση ιστορικής μνήμης, με μεγάλη συμβολική σημασία και ιδιαίτερη συναισθηματική φόρτιση. Ο ποντιακός ελληνισμός, φορέας μιας μακραίωνης ιστορίας, ξεριζώστηκε βία από τις πατρογονικές του αιστείες και πλήρωσε πολύ βαρύ το φόρο αίματος με την εξόντωση, τη γενοκτονία πάνω από 353.000 επίσημα και καταγεγραμμένων Ελλήνων του Πόντου. Υπερβαίνοντας τις δυσκολίες της πληρής προσφυγιάς, οι Πόντοι κατόρθωσαν όχι απλά να προκόψουν, αλλά δίχως υπερβολή να διαδραματίσουν πρωταγωνιστικό ρόλο στην πολιτική, πνευματική και οικονομική ζωή της μητέρας Ελλάδος, καθώς και των λοιπών χωρών 
που φιλόξενα τους δέχτηκαν όπως αυτοί εδώ. Η παρουσία σας σήμερα εδώ και ακόμα περισσότερο ο, ζου, ο Ζήλος με τον οποίο διατηρείτε ζωντανές τις παραδόσεις σας και τη διάλεκτο των προγόνων σας αποδεικνύουν ότι η μνήμη των νεκρών παραμένει άσβεστη όπως και η αγάπη σας για τα χώματα του πόντου. We are paying tribute to the 353,000 Pontian Greeks who found a materic death by the Ottoman, Young Turks and Kemalists in what we describe, we can only describe as a genocide, officially recognized or not. It is our duty to ensure that the memory is honored, that the historic truth is widely known and that such atrocities will never take place again in the future. I congratulate you for being here and for holding this symbolic and full of messages ceremony. Thank you. Today's keynote speaker is a researcher and author and solely responsible for the production of the excellent documentary In the Footsteps of the Argonauts, Mr. Theodosios Kyriakidis. Τη Ομοσπονδία, κύριε Τσεκυρίδη, αγαπητοί φίλοι, dear friends and compatriots. In 2007, the International Association of Genocide Scholars published the resolution which recognized the Greek genocide. Some of the highlights of this resolution are as follows The Ottoman genocide against minority population during and following the First War. World War is usually depicted as a genocide against Armenians alone, with the little recognition of the qualitatively similar genocides against other Christian minorities of the Ottoman Empire. It is the conviction of the International Association of Genocide Scholars that the Ottoman campaign against Christian minorities of the Empire between 1914 and 1923 constituted a genocide against Armenians Assyrians, and Pontian and Anatolian Greeks. The association calls upon the government of Turkey to acknowledge the genocides against these populations, to issue a formal apology, and to take prompt and meaningful steps toward restitution. These words were officially proclaimed